guys welcome back to my channel today I am doing a <clears throat> hey guys welcome back to my channel um I've been in my for a while I've been dealing with life <laughs> okay Paul so I know my makeup was really bad here my AC broke in my car and I have a drop top so there you go continue <laughs> And um, I have been doing mukbangs either because I've been on a vegan diet, a little partially vegan diet, I guess you can say. So when you're vegan, you basically eat dirt and carrots and broccoli. That's basically all you can eat. But um, I'm going to try something different today. I am actually trying um, treats from Japan. Here is my little box here. I'm gonna make a little thumbnail for later. But anyway, so um, I decided to do a mukbang because I went to go visit a friend and she was my inspiration for this. I went to go visit a friend and she was like, I let her try some mochi. I always get mochi from the Asian store. And she was like, this is bougie food. And I said, no, it's from Japan. It's Japanese food. And she hated it and she didn't like it and I was like oh you just uncultured she's like no you're just too fancy and I was just thinking I can culture my viewers and let them know <laughs> that's my cat Sonny and let them know can you get out of the way sir sir please go this is my little placement like this is on my bed usually and like he lays on it and so like yeah this is what i'm gonna have to deal with okay you're in the camera now all right but um but yeah so i decided to try something new and try different treats from japan that i usually don't get you know and share them with you guys so that's what i'm gonna do now once i get my get off the table Get off the table. We can talk later. Okay. A bean jam wafer, I guess. So this is it here. And it has green tea in it. That's the only thing I know. I, I have no idea. We'll, we'll try these bad boys out. Almost. We're going to try this out. It's interesting. The inside has some kind of feeling in it. I have no idea what the feeling is. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. I know I'm not making it fresh, but it has a weird texture. These kind of taste like the communion crackers that you get from church. You know, when it comes to revival. These are not bad. Not to melt in your mouth. Okay, these are bad. Not not the top, but the filling is. I don't like the filling. I don't know what this is. Maybe I lick it. It tastes familiar. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> and, and it really doesn't give a description. On the box, it just says green tea. Pea, lima beans. It's a bean paste. That's why I don't like it. It's a bean. Uh, FYI, I hate beans. Like, whenever I go to the Mexican restaurant and they ask me, like, oh, you want beans and rice? I'll be like, no rice and no beans. Like, I, I just I just can't take beans. I just think it's a texture. So, I mean, it's cute packaging and it's like adorable. I don't know why I'm keep eating this. Mm. Rice snacks here. And I don't think this is Japanese. I think this is like Taiwanese, I believe. I have no idea. And see, this is my first time trying all these. Oh, this is good. Okay. And these are kind of like, I guess they're like rice puffs. They look like this. 
I guess they're like, I don't know. What's that cereal called? It's like rice puffs. Uh, um, Pops with the frog. Yeah, Pops. Maybe it's like Pops. These are not bad. It has marshmallow in it. And it tastes like popcorn from, like, the movie theater. So that's, like, a good thing. Like, because I like popcorn from the movie theater, so... Interesting. So I'm just gonna keep these up here. I'm not gonna eat them. But these are good. Well, you didn't, yeah, I'm good now because I have like a full pack here, but so I wouldn't like buy like another one. But I mean, good for snacks and stuff. And I believe all of this is vegan free. I hope it is. Not vegan free. Vegan. So, and gluten free and all the other stuff. So, I've been keeping well with my diet. I've been vegan for a month. So, pat on the back for me for eating dirt. And not losing a pound, feel like. These are good. Um, I will put this. I'm going to make a nasty pile and an okay pile. I'm going to make a good pile and a okay. No, a good pile and a bad pile, I guess you can say. So. This will be my bad pile, my bad, my bad side, and this will be my good side. So I'm just gonna keep keep those over there. All right, made of jackfruit. So as you can see on the picture there, it's jackfruit, and it's from Yuki and Love. I just thought this was adorable, and I believe this is a product from Japan, and it's a uh, durian mochi. And like I said, it's jackfruit. So we're gonna try this one. This one should be easier to open than the last one. I lied. It's not. Okay. I really don't want to rip this apart. It's a bunch of tape. They don't want you to eat no food in Japan, do they? Oh my God. Okay, let's open. Oh, more packaging. Okay, so they come in little things like this. And I've had mochi before, but I've never had them this small. And this strange looking part. I never had jackfruit mochi. I know jackfruit stinks. I'm going to mess up my tea. And my teeth are sparkling light. And I don't need to be messing them up. Okay. Let's try one of these. See another package. Oh my God. It smells like jackfruit and it stinks. Ugh. Oh no. It really is made out of jackfruit. Oh, it stinks. It smells like a fart. I, I don't know if I can eat this. I swear to God. It, it, oh my God, it smells really, it smells really bad. Oh God, it just, it tastes good, but it smells awful. It smells like, it smells awful. It smells like ass. I don't know. <laughs> smells really bad but they taste oh my god it's not, it really does like <laughs> it's not like somebody <laughs> I'm done oh, it really like y'all I wish you could smell this right now it smells like somebody passed gas but it's really the candy it's it smells awful but it's really good. So I'm like really conflicted which pal to put it in. You can't smell it. Now it's just when you first 
open up the packaging. So like, I don't know if it's, I have no idea. Hmm. Um, which pile should I put in? Should I put in the good pile or bad pile? I mean, it tastes good, but it stinks. It just really, like, I might have to freeze the house. Like, oh my God. I'm going to have to get air freshener. Like, for real. <laughs> like, I am not kidding. I am not trying to be extra or anything, but. That smells so bad. That smells awful. Like, I knew that the fruit smells bad, but I didn't know that it literally has, like, the fruit in it. So, like, it just, it just stinks. I don't know why it stinks so much. But it's such a cute box, and it stinks. Um, this pile. I'm going to put it in the bad pile. I mean, it tastes great. Like, mochi is one of my favorite, but it stinks. And, like, it, it doesn't make any sense. So you have to, like, you know, clean up everything. You're just trying to open it up. That's crazy to me. That's from Thailand. So, these are Thai mango sheets. And, um, yeah. So, they're just, like, little mango pieces of candy. And they just have, like, chili infusion in it, too. So, like, I don't like spicy stuff. So, we'll see. And it says, Think man Mango Think, War Porn. I don't know what that means. Uh, but the company is War Porn, so like, I, maybe, I, I don't know. Let's try not to get dirty. It says, Try Me, You'll Love Me. That's what it says in the package here, so I don't know. And it contains mango, sugar, salt, chili. I'm going to have to use my teeth in this video one more time. I'm going to lose it. Okay. Uh, hopefully, we won't have to. Okay. Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> I'm like bracing myself to sell. Okay, so this is what they look like. And I swear, this, this all this packaging and full and I'm gonna make sure that it's not contaminated. It smells fine, it just smells like chili. Like I'm I'm bracing myself because I know it's gonna be hot. Ugh No. I'm Yeah Oh my God. <coughs> I hate spicy stuff. And it's mango. I mean, I love mangoes. Like, I eat mangoes all the time, but. Maybe I just suck on that. This is, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is really bad. Ooh. I don't know why I keep on eat, eating it. <coughs> <coughs> and it's really hot. There's a bunch of them in here. Okay. See, like, when you lick them, you, like, you can't taste it, but when you bite on it, it's like... beauty tip. I know some boot bang is a beauty tip that I'm going to add in this video. If you use like chili infused like lip gloss and like, you know, see how pretty that color is? And actually make them plumper. So we're just going to use this as a beauty technique right now. But this is going in definitely the bad pal. Either. But it does make your lips oh. Okay, only one in the good pile. We have three, three items in the bad pile. And like, I was telling my friend like, oh, like, be cultured. Be, 
be travel-esque. Like, be open to more things. Be open-minded. I'm like, no, 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 bitch. Thirsty in real life. And I'm thirsty right now. <laughs> I'm going to wash it down with Ramune. And this is actually Japanese. Ramune um, melon flavor um, soda pop. And I've had these before at the little pokey nori places and stuff like that. But, like, I've never had a melon one. It's always been, like, the standard clear strawberry, you know, stuff like that. So, we're going to try melon. And, uh, and it's Ramon, Ramon, I don't know. We're going to try it. And this is another tricky little thing here. It seems like every item that I've been trying to open is going to take me like two minutes to open a drink. So. Okay. Let me go. Okay. So <clears throat> basically this is not your average soda pop like bottle. And it's a ball right here and you have to push the ball inside of the drink. And to do that they give you a little cap like this. And you literally have to just like smack it. <laughs> Did it go? Oh my god. Oh, that was off of my thumb. Okay, let's try this one more time. <laughs> one, two, three. Now, oh, there we go. Okay, now it's in. Now it's inside. You just pull this out and you can enjoy your beverage. It takes all this work just to enjoy Japanese treats. It's ridiculous. No, this is actually good. Smells nice. It's like a little baby bottle pop. I don't know. Just in a good pile. <clears throat> and we'll make sure everybody sees it. Okay, so that's in a good pile. All right, uh, another mango flavor, mango gummy candy, and it's just this product of Japan. I do not know what this name is. I don't speak Japanese, but that's all right, but I do love gummy candy, and this is easy to open. All right, so, oh, this smells nice, nice flavor. We all have to do a smell meter, too. Okay, so, this little package here, and I've never had these before, so, oh, these are cute. Kind of look like a little gummy saver. I pleasantly enjoy that. That, this is a nice reward and a nice treat that I've gone through dealing with this bullshit over here. So I like, oh, uh, mm, I should love these. Mmm, Ochi. Hopefully it won't smell like this one right here. Like, I'm pissed off. Like, that's crazy. Like, it <laughs> makes me upset. Okay, so this is, this is actually neat. I like this one. Um, this one actually has a map of Japan and... I don't know what it says, but, like, it just shows where the beaches are and stuff. Like, I'll, I'll show you. So, it has, like, a map of the coast and, like, where it's from, I guess. And, like, oh, this is not even Japanese. I feel so eager. <laughs> this is actually a product of Taiwan. Fun fact. Little factual fact here. Um, this. It's actually taro. These that are mostly the mochis I usually eat. Like, they have a little taro in it. And taro is like, I, I think I'm pronouncing it right. I'm not 100% sure. But taro is kind of like a sweet potato. And it's actually one of those e <coughs> Let me start over. Let me start over. I apologize. Like, ugh. Let me start again. Okay, so taro is actually a sweet potato. It's found in Asia, and it's purple. So, like, the emoji that you usually find on, like, your little, you know, 
uh, it's like a little purple thing, and like I know you want to send it to like your significant other because it's not an eggplant, and you want to be like, oh, I'm gonna send her another purple thing. No, it's actually a sweet potato. So, like, don't try to be coy, don't try to be stupid sending people sweet potato pics or eggplant pics for that matter. But, um, but yeah, it's I, I, I didn't realize they were all hard to open because, like, ones I usually get, they're not that hard to open. Okay. A package within a pack. I, I can't deal. I can't deal. Like, for real. So, it's hard right here. And we're going to try. Oh, and FYI, mochis are basically the stuff right here. There's, like, powdery and stuff. These are, like, um, it's rice powder. And it's, like, gluttonous, you know, sushi rice. And they basically, like... Pound it really hard and it'll make um, they they get like regular like sushi rice They will pound it really hard and make like this gluttonous like mixture. That's why it's so like sticky and whatnot But let me try it first and stop popping Okay The mochi that I usually get they're the big giant ones, and they come in like six, so like you're good to go. These are the smaller ones, and I think they're a little bit, I don't know, it's because of the packaging, it's because they're in like small packages like this, it's because they're a little dry, but, I mean, it's still good, but it's not, you know. I'm going to put these in the good pile, so I'm going to put this in the original little package here. We're going to get an a, a for packaging, and we're going to get a C for taste. So, C is mediocre in my book, so we're just going to put it right here. That's all. So, if you enjoyed my video, please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for coming to my channel.